Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. It's gonna be kind of spontaneous. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I really, really just wanna try out the new Too Faced Glitter Palette, Glitter Bomb Palette. And it looks like this. Obviously I'll only be able to use like one or two colors or else it'll just be like too much. There's like this really pretty uh, rose gold color in here that I wanna work with. So I think I'm gonna go for a rose gold eye makeup look today. But before I get started, I just want to say that I am kind of a hot mess right now. Literally a hot mess. It is so hot in this room. And the last video that I did had the overhead fan going because it was hot in here the day that I was filming that video. And I didn't realize it, but apparently there was like a wind sound in the audio. And I didn't notice it while I was editing, so I'm sorry to those of you who got annoyed by that. The fan is off this time, and so the audio should be good. Also, I changed up my background a little bit. I wanted it to be more warm and like homey and like rustic, kind of, almost, maybe not, I don't know. Let me know how you guys like it, or if you liked my last background better. I'm not really sure how I feel about it quite yet. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I already did my brows, and I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse in the color Ash Blonde. I used this in my last first impressions video and it turns out I really really like it. It took me a while to get used to it because I haven't used a pomade in so so long. I've been using brow pencils for like the last year so it definitely took me some time to get used to but I really really like the color of it. And I already went ahead and concealed and set my eyelids just because I forgot that I wasn't filming myself but I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer and this is in the shade Fair Light and I'm also going to be using this concealer on my face throughout the video. And for eyeshadow today I'm using the The Balm Nude Beach Volume 3 and I set my lid with the color Brilliant. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Bright and work that into my crease. Today I'm using my favorite crease brush. This is the Luxie. I have rubbed the number off. 205 Tapered Blending Brush. And then I'm going to take the color Bodacious with that same brush and work that on my outer V. I'm gonna take the color bright again and just go over everything because that last color made it just a little bit too orange. And then taking the color Brilliant, which is the shade that I set my lids with, and I'm just going to buff out all the edges, making sure everything is smooth. And I also blended that color just a little bit too far up, so I'm gonna kind of make it go down just a little bit with that color. And then taking the color Brazen or Brazen, I have no idea how to say that, on the Luxie 229 Tapered Blending Brush, I'm going to focus that just on the outer V and like my upper lash line area. Just to darken it up just a tad bit. Okay, and then wiping that brush off because we're going to use it again. I'm going in with the shade Babe and putting that on my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, so now for the glitter. I think I'm going to start with the color Work It and just take it on my finger. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply this, obviously. I'm going to just put it like on the center of my lid, kind of avoiding the inner corner because I'm going to be using the lighter rose gold for the inner corner. Definitely getting a little bit of fallout with this. Maybe I'll try with a brush. So I'm going to try it with a brush and spraying it a little bit. So I'm taking the Luxie 223 Short Shader 
putting a little bit of product on that brush like that and then I'm gonna take the NYX first base primer and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that a little bit let's see if that's any better I don't know. This is not working out very well for me. Okay, I guess that looks okay. So I think uh, applying it with my finger worked better than a brush. So now I'm gonna take the color, now I'm gonna take the color Rose All Day on my finger as well. Pop that on my inner corner. Maybe I need to use, maybe I need to use their glitter glue. I'm gonna brush this off and we're gonna start over. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of their glitter glue on the back of that short shader brush again and just apply it where I want the glitter to go. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up the color Work It again on the brush. Okay, yeah, that looks that's going on a lot easier. And then taking the color Rose all day. Okay, so that worked 10 times better with the glitter glue. Like, it went on so much more pigmented. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in for you a little bit. That went on a lot better with the glitter glue. It is always a, just a little bit disappointing when you have to use, like when you have to use a primer or a glitter glue for a product to work. Um, but it is what it is. It worked really well with the glitter glue. So I suggest if you're wanting to get that palette, the Glitter Bomb palette, get their glitter glue because without it, it looked terrible like so chunky there was fallout all over my face you definitely need the glitter glue okay so I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and wipe off all that fallout and I'm also going to make that line nice and crisp because it did get a little bit messed up when I was messing with that glitter Okay, so now starting with the face, I have not moisturized my face yet. I did wash it right before this video, so I want to go in with a nice moisturizer. Today I'm using the Tarte Brighter Days Moisturizer. This has been my favorite, like, illuminating product for a while now. It just makes your face look so glowy and so healthy. And I really like how it feels on my skin, too. It feels really just like light, not too heavy, but it also adds a lot of moisture before you put on your makeup. So once that's all nice and rubbed in today, I'm going to go in with a primer and I'm using the Farsali Unicorn Essence Drops. Again, this is one of my favorite primers. If you guys have not watched my videos before, I use this stuff quite frequently. It's just a really nice oil-free primer, but it feels like almost a little bit tacky on your skin when you rub it in. And those are my favorite primers because it feels like they really, really grab onto the foundation. Okay, so now that our face is nice and prepped for makeup, I think that I'm going to skip foundation today. I just really don't feel like wearing it. And a lot of you always ask me to skip foundation in my tutorials because a lot of you don't wear foundation, which I don't wear it every single day either. So it's like... Yes, I will skip foundation because half the time I don't even wear it anyways. So today for concealer, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Concealers. And I'm not really sure what color I want to use. So I think I'm going to use the color Light Sand to cover up my dark circles because it does have a little bit more warmth in it. I'm just going to put it right on that part where my dark circles are. And then also cover up the really red spots on my face. Okay, and then taking the color Fair Light, which is more of a neutral color, I'm just going to put that on like the high points of my face and any extra redness that I have.
Okay, now that everything is all nicely covered, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Jane Cosmetics Translucent Powder, and I'm gonna use this to set like my under eyes and anything that normally creases on me. I'm gonna take that same sponge that I used, go ahead and just pack that product right on top of where I need it to be. Okay, so now that I'm looking like a ghost, I'm gonna bring a little bit of color back to my face. So I'm using the Tarte Filtered Light Setting Powder, which has a little bit of color to it. And I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush. This one is from Lottie London. I'm just gonna dip that right in the powder and just go ahead and set everything. And dust off that white film from the Jane Cosmetics Powder. Now that everything is set, I'm going to take the Jane Cosmetics Bronzing Powder in the color Inspire. And just with that same fluffy brush, I'm just going to put a little bit of color on the outsides of my face. I'm not going to contour or anything. Now for blush today, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, and this is in the color Exposed. It's just a very, very pretty neutral blush that pretty much anyone can use who's on the fairer side. I'm just going to take that on a stipple brush and put that on my apples of my cheeks. Then for highlight, I'm going to be using something that I haven't used in a long, long time. This is the Gerard Cosmetics Star Powders in the color Grace. I used to be obsessed with this highlight. I literally would use it like every single day. And then I just forgot about it because I'm always trying out different highlighters. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my face using the Hangover, the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Finishing Spray. Okay, now that the face is done, I'm going to finish the eyes. First, I'm just going to curl my lashes. Then I'm going to tightline my eyes using the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner, and this is in the color Obsidian. Now for mascara, today I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I kind of just like stopped using this stuff a while ago and then I got back on it. It's like one of those mascaras that like I like but I'm not crazy about. I kind of just like go back to it because everyone else loves it so much. I mean like it's good but it's not amazing. You know what I mean? Okay so now I'm gonna pop on some lashes. Excuse you. Now I'm going to put on some lashes. Today I'm using the Iris Beauty Lashes and Empress, of course. What else? I know. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the lashes part and link down below how I put on my eyelashes in the description bar. So, okay, bye. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, we're gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm going to take the color Bright that I used in my crease with this same tapered blending brush, and I'm just going to smudge that out all across my lower lash line. Then taking the color Brave, I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit of that on the same brush. Just put that on my outer corner. Then taking the color Babe once again and really brightening up that inner corner. And then waterlining with that obsidian eyeliner. And then just coating my lower lashes with some mascara. Okay, and now to finish off the look, I'm gonna be trying out for the first time the Too Faced Melted Latex High Shine Lipstick. Don't know how I feel about this. This color is called Safe Word. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like super creamy lipsticks, so we'll see how this goes. Looks like a really pretty color though. Okay, so that's very, very Barbie pink. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the color Love You, Mean It shade on top of that. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I'm not, I am not a huge fan of these lipsticks. They're super thick. 
and they are making my lips look extremely like cakey underneath and I couldn't really seem to find a color that went with this look very well so I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of the Becca liquid crystal lip topper and this is in the shade rose quartz seashell I think it's just like a pretty clear lip gloss but it has like rose gold flex in it Okay, you guys, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching it and seeing me test out a couple new products and kind of making them work. I could not make the lipsticks work. However, I just, I'm personally not a fan of them because I really don't like to deal with sticky lipsticks. It's so annoying. I don't like the feeling of lipstick on my lips at all. So the fact that they were extra sticky really bugged me. But the colors were very pretty and so, so pigmented. So if you don't mind stickiness, then I'm sure you would like it. I don't know how long they'll last because they aren't liquid lipsticks, but you get the point. But that's pretty much it for this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to leave comments down below telling me how you like my new background because I'm honestly very curious. I sat in home goods for a good two hours trying to figure out what to do because I have just been really tired of my cold looking background. So let me know. Okay, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.